Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 104. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to set or unset global level or global profile registry variables. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how to set or unset registry variables at global level or global profile registry variables. There are a huge number of registry variables already present in DB2. Each registry variable will influence the DB2 behavior in one way or the other. There are also different levels at which you can set the same registry variable. Instance level, user level, global level, which is what we are going to see in this tip, node level and environment level. Usually the command to, to set this registry variable is DB2 set. So you say db2 set variable equal to value and you say at what level you want to set. So it's like hyphen i means instance level, hyphen u means user level, hyphen g means global level. But for some reason, I think from 9.7, the global level uh, registry variable, if you use the db2 set command and the option hyphen g, it does not work. You have to use a new tool, db2 greg, db2 greg tool to set or unset or change values for the global level registry variables. And a word of caution, improper usage can be detrimental to your system or instance. So you have to use it uh, very, very carefully. So like 100% you have to be sure that uh, it is required. So uh, if an option is there, like, you know, I, if I can set a particular registry variable at an instance level, I will always prefer it over setting it at the global level. There's not specific advantage or disadvantage. The advantage is that, see, even if another global level means you are, if you're setting it at the product level, even how many ever instances you create, all those instances will inherit that particular registry variable value. So it is not instance specific. So that, that is all we are getting. So unless it is really mandatory, you don't need to use this tool. But any case, I just wanted to show you how to use this tool and uh, set or unset the values. Okay, let's uh, get into the example as usual. Mm -hmm. So here, I so you have to be under a root user to set or unset. And I'll show you first the existing list. So I can, so under root user, I can say db2 greg hyphen dump. Okay, so let me go to root user. So this is my root uh, terminal. So you can see it will list all the registry variables and all values that are set. It lists all the, it lists many things. So in that registry variable is this one. So you can see that DB2 GPRF, so DB2 global profile registry field. I, I think, I don't know what F stands for. So I'm just saying like that, but you can see DB2 compatibility vector value is set to my S, which means my SQL. Uh, similarly, db2 gprf uh, say same thing my s and there are two products installed 10.5 and 11.1 .1. so i'll show you that in the respective instances as well so i have here inst3 at 11.1 .1, okay and you can see that uh, here the db2 compatibility vector is set at global level uh, my s like that because it, it is set that way okay uh, that's that's the thing you get by installation by default okay so inst1 again it is at 10.5 you can see that it is at 10.5 and uh, again uh, global level db2 compatibility vector is set to minus so now i want to change so how do i change that so i'm going to first show you how to delete the current uh, existing thing so copy that so db2 greg del variable so del the registry variable delete the registry variable uh, db2 gprf variable name is compatibility vector value is my s install path is this so first i'm going to delete that so for that i need to go to the root terminal in 11.1 .1 is what i i want to do the change so i go there i run this so you can see already for 11.1 .1 it is there right so it will go away now so enter and run the db2 dump command so Compatibility vector is there for 10.5, but for 11.1, .1, it is gone. It is not there. So you can check that by logging in the terminal as well. So for INST1, there is no change. For INST3, I exit. 
and I'll again log in as db2 inst3 db2 inst3 and set hyphen all okay you got there it's not real i mean that that's the thing we deleted okay so exit again okay now what i'm going to do is add it back but with a different uh, value so uh, i'm saying db2 compatibility vector ora oracle and db2 gprf the, the global profile add variable okay so this is the command that i'm using copy that go to the root terminal run it then you can check whether it got reflected so you can see that it got added for 11.1 Okay, this is a this is a custom is like a comment we have put so indicate uh, we have updated it so some comments okay and uh, that's it so we can go back to the inst3 so su hyphen db2 inst3 db2 inst3 and run the set command oracle compatibility so we got it so even if I use the uh, even if I use the 11.1 and uh, create another instance inst4 for example it will also be under compatibility vector ra oracle okay but the inst1 should should not be affected because of this change so i exit i again log back into db2 inst1 db2 inst1 and execute the set command it is at my sql so uh, all my 10.5 instances will be with compatibility vector mysql all my 11.1 instances will be with compatibility vector oracle so that that is the tip that i have provided we have used the greg tool for some reason i don't know why that change was done but uh, that is how it is and also please please remember that this is usually you don't need this so uh, there is a lot of caution around this uh, usage of this greg tool uh, so unless it is very very you have some really compelling reason for it you you can do the modification otherwise prefer to use the instance level registry variables and uh, that's it in this video tutorial hope this tip was useful to you uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel youtube.com slash db2 luw academy uh, the blog the, the we are also available i am also available in db2 luw academy dot blogspot dot in uh, thank you see you in the next video tutorial bye bye